He caught you with one there, huh? It's okay. It happens. This is boxing, after all. It doesn't matter that you got knocked down. You can get him back in the next round. You did the right thing, though. You took your time and you got back up. Your father would be proud of you. That's what champions do, Andre. They get back up. Do shit would count somebody out, which means you got to knock that cracker on his ass. Yeah. And you got one round. Knock the fucker on his ass. Knock the fuck on his ass. Congratulations on your victory, boy. You look real good out there. We're really fucking impressed. Welcome to the real world, baby! <laughs> Nighty night, bitch. Ew. I don't want to die in prison. <laughs> easy, easy now, son. Don't try to talk. Just take it easy now. You're lucky they left you breathing. I wasn't always this lucky. Cuban is no amateur. He could have turned pro years ago. He's been the amateur champ for nine years. Nine years! Are you gonna let him make it ten? That's right. That's why we're here. To get the gold medal. Now go get him, kid! You got this one! You so we start round number one of Andre Bishop against the sensational Cuban Joel Savone. You know, I heard a lot of experts ringside talking about the lack of experience for Bishop compared to Savone. Of course, Savone's a nine-time champion, and you have to wonder and ask yourself, will the nerves of Andre Bishop start to get to him? Will he be rattled against such a worthy opponent? Must be the punch of the day. Both guys bringing home uppercuts. 
flush with back-to-back -back double uppercuts by Andre Bishop. Move around the ring. You got that? Okay, let's go. Keep it up. Keep it up. That's it now. Nice workout. Keep fighting smart and keep busy. Don't take a break with it, guys. Bishop's off to a fresh start right now. That last round, he was really shook up, but he looks to be steady on his feet here. Andre Bishop is struggling to keep Joel Savone at bay. You can see he is scoring a lot of points. Andre Bishop's failure to protect himself from that left hand, it's become a big story now. Yeah, and he has to understand why. He's not controlling distance. He's standing too close in front. He needs to adjust a little further out. In the second round. Andre Wow! Andre Bishop is on the receiving end of a power shot that scored the knockdown. Bishop, 60 seconds to recover. Hopefully will be enough for him. Now, he's got good cornermen. He's got the right people in place to try to fix this situation. Yeah, and they got to work like a pit stop, you know, in the Indianapolis 500. One guy's giving the gas, another guy's changing the tires, you know, another guy's maybe giving the driver a little water. They got to do the same thing. Give him some water, refresh him a little bit, work his legs a little bit, and then just before he goes out, a little advice. I got more. Well, he got caught by a lucky punch in that last round. It did do some damage, but now you can tell he's right back where he wants to be, fresh and ready as we start this round. I don't take lightly when a guy gets dropped, but you know what? I think he was more embarrassed than he was hurt. Savone's giving his opponent fits right here. His head movement is making for such an elusive target. Yes, it is. Now the opponent has to make an adjustment. He has to realize that he's finding air more than he's finding any surface up top. So go downstairs to the place that's not moving, down to the body. That is start to take away some of that head movement. Targeting each other, the exchange was something special. Solid left hand to the head. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. He goes down in the later stages of this round. He's going to try to survive it. There's no doubt about it. Joel Savone is in control of this fight. He has himself a pretty good lead. This is it. Last round. No need to get into a brawl with this guy, okay? That's what he wants. Don't give it to him. Okay. Final round is upon us, and Teddy, I don't think it is a stretch to say this. Andre Bishop needs a knockout to win this fight. Yeah, but how? What does he come? He needs a knockout, but he needs a plan, too. How does he deliver it? How does he time it? Joel Savone's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is to block. He did it there well. Wow, what a... Oh, that shot of hurt. Oh, this is going to be close. He may be able to survive the round, but he has gone down now. Nobody was expecting this outcome. Nobody except for Andre Bishop. What confidence he had tonight as he scores the knockout victory over Joel Savone. Bishop is your gold medalist here at these World Amateur Games. Andre, how does it feel to be named fighter of the games? It's terrific, honestly. Being voted fighter of the yeah, games. Yeah, baby! It's an honor. <laughs> gold medal, baby! Yeah. Uh, this is my baby brother, my big baby brother, Ray. Hey, big baby Bishop, I'm a fighter too, and one day I'm gonna be right where he is now. <laughs> like I was saying, it's a lot of talented boxers out here, and it's not hey, just being... Hey, Bishop brothers are in the house, big baby Bishop, what? It was a fabulous tournament. Truly exciting to watch. But even more exciting, McQueen Promotions is pleased to announce that we've just added Isaac Frost to our roster of boxing talent. Isaac, are you disappointed that Andre Bishop won Fighter of the Games? Disappointed? <laughs> I'm the heavyweight gold medalist. No one went the distance with me. Nobody here 
could ever go the distance with me. I am the best fighter in these games, period. Andre Bishop is a talented middleweight, but I, I think uh, Isaac makes a good point. Regardless, both these young men could have very bright futures in professional boxing. You okay? Beautiful, kid. You got your father's power. He certainly does. His father hit like a heavyweight, too. <laughs> Gus, <laughs> despite our differences, I've always said you're one of the best trainers in the business. I don't care what you say about me, Queen. <laughs> always nice to see you, Megan. Always nice to see you, too, Gus. I'm bringing my daughter into the business. You know how good she is with fighters. I want her to manage Andre. You're a great trainer. Why not concentrate on what you do best and let Megan and I concentrate on Andre's career? Thanks, but I think I can handle it. Isaac Frost will be fighting for a title within two years. I can do that for you, too. Thanks, but I can handle it. Did this old man ever get your father a title shot? He was on his way! The only way to the title is through me! Not if nobody can beat me. Oh, you think so? You don't know who you're fucking with. Dad! You've been listening to this stupid old man! Dad! You don't know who you're fucking with! I apologize. No, you have no reason to apologize. But your father, on the other hand, he chews fighters up and he spits them out. Gus, if we just... Megan, you were good, Eddie. But no way are we getting in bed with D.L. McQueen. I respect your decision. Lucius Palmer likes to run, but he'll get aggressive at the end of each round. He's good at stealing fights. Good luck, Andre. Thanks, Megan. She's right about Palmer. She's a smart girl, that Megan. Ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. We have a big card for you tonight. And a lot of people excited about what we're going to bring you in moments on our undercard. It is the pro debut of the middleweight, Andre Bishop. He will be going up against the KG we the veteran, in the room. Lucius Palmer, from here fight. at the Aragon Touch Ballroom in Chicago. Stay with us for that. Andre Bishop's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Did you see that? Oh, this is going to be close. He may be able to survive the round, but he has gone down now. get a firework display and you wind up getting a little bit of painting. Back here in the Friday Night Fight Studios, I'm Brian Kenny. Amateur gold medalist Andre Bishop taking his first steps as a pro this past weekend on the undercard at the Aragon Ballroom in Chicago. Bishop beating former welterweight contender Lucius Palmer en route to his first pro win. Now, we've seen Palmer before here on ESPN. He's a veteran. He's no joke. And Bishop is now considered to be one of the best prospects boxing has seen in decades. By beating a fighter the caliber of Palmer in his pro debut, no less, he definitely made a statement. Andre Bishop clearly a fighter to watch. In other news, heavyweight prospect Isaac Frost scoring the second knockout of his pro career, beating another overmatched opponent on the undercard of a McQueen pay-per-view in Las Vegas. He's now 2-0 with two KOs. To the belt line. Good flush shot upstairs. Oh, and there you go. He goes down. Oh, he may be close here. Can he survive the round? Andre Bishop. Everything he does. Look at that. And he goes down again. Will he get up from this? One, two, three, four. There's 
the hook. Solid. That was a big shot that floored him, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitch of great Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. I was on my way, and baby brother was making his mark as an amateur. Gus had been our father's trainer. He All took right. us in after our parents died. Good. Keep that jab going. Ladies and gentlemen, and Wilfred Rosario do what Mike Walker and Lucius Palmer were unable to do. Andre Bishop now 2-0 in his career. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas with you ringside here at the State Palace Theater in New Orleans to see if the young upstart can make it three in a row. Lance flush with it. He gets to him with an uppercut. Big shot. Andre Bishop is on the receiving end of a power shot that scored the knockdown. Andre Bishop's back up. Woo! What a big shot. Late goings here this round, and he goes down. Can he survive it? One, two, three, four. Forget stop. So, yeah, he's got to be smart, but he's always got to pitch something at his opponent. Chuck something at his opponent to keep him off a little bit, too. Oh, good exchange there. I like that step back right there. Hook to the big, big shot comes crashing home. And he goes down for a second time. Does he have enough this time to rise up and continue on? One, two, three, four, five. Combination. to the body work now. He lands the right hand. Big, big shot he just scored with. Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying. Falling like a sack of potatoes. One, two, three, four, five, six. I kept winning fights. I got people's attention. My father told me to find out what it'll take to make you change your mind about working with us. It's easy. Yeah? Yeah. All you gotta do is change Gus's mind. What's that all? <laughs> you don't have a say in this? Sure I do. I say Gus is my manager. And I guess I'm gonna have to change Gus's mind. Good luck with that. Thanks. Oh, by the way, I was by Keyshawn Hayes' camp the other day. His trainer thinks you're a sucker for the left hook. Keyshawn says he's dropping you with it. Yeah? Well, Keyshawn Hayes entitled his own opinion, isn't he? Stop the Andre Bishop Express. Hi, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. We welcome you to Atlantic City's Boardwalk Hall.
to see if Bishop can move his mark to 4 0 as he faces Keyshaw Gaines. Bishop! His adversary, by way of Newark, Keyshawn Hayes. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch him. This guy's got a mean left hook. He's going to try and catch you with it early. Yeah, I heard about that. like this that everybody's been talking about it's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one and Bishop is rocked by a left hook by Hayes oh a good right hand by Hayes two guys that can really take each other out What's the best means to defense? Well, if one guy says to himself, I'm not the power puncher, then he has to be smart. He has to be technically solid in all areas. He's going to have the edge. That's a good left hand by Keyshawn Hayes. Strong left hand from him. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations. And bang, and away he goes. Oh, right off the bat, he goes down. Round number one, and he's on the floor. Came out a little careless. And he paid a price. So he was knocked down, but Andre Bishop is proving that he doesn't want to be knocked out tonight. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. He got a lot into that uppercut. Nice work by Hayes. After eating one himself. Cover up, cover up. Hayes' knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend, one of them is the block. He did it there well. Adam with a left hand. Just like that. Andre Bishop, unbeaten in his emerging career, but now a bit of a challenge. In that first round, Keyshawn Hayes able to land that left hook. Well, we know he looks like a fighter. We've seen that already. We've seen that throughout his amateur career. Now we're about to find out if he can behave like a fighter. Keep it up. Keep it up. That's it now. Nice work out there. Keep fighting smart and keep it up. Bishop's got a good relationship with his corner, but now it needs to pay off. He was down in that last round. They need to get to work. Andre Bishop, beautiful head movement, good lateral movement, getting out of the way of that dangerous left hook of Hayes. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Bishop's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Cut. He's in bad shape. Hayes' defense has failed him now. Oh, man, shot after shot coming in. Good block by Hayes. Nice work. Nice Quick work. snapping hook, and it does damage. Scores well to the head with the right hand. Bishop's landed a good, solid combination. Hayes is giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. 
Andre Bishop has always had a knack for that. I love the way Andre will look for that uppercut and then deliver it. Nice strike after catching one by Andre Bishop. A stinging uppercut by Hayes. Not much action as he just ties up. Andre Bishop. That's a huge left he just scored with. And yet another big shot comes in. How about that? He goes from being the victim to handing out the punishment. Andre Bishop just dropped his opponent in that last round. Trainer Gus Carisi may know that the end is near. He knows the possibility is there, Joe, no doubt about that, but he wants to make sure that his charge does not get careless either. He goes and finishes the job the right way. got to hope that these 60 seconds are going to pay off for him here. Went down hard in that last round. He's got to gather himself because you know his opponent's going to come right after him when that bell rings. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Andre Bishop's defense now dazzling as Hayes is having trouble landing that left hook. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. Accurate shot. Straight right hand comes in. An accurate left by Hayes. Grabbing on to his opponent. How about that exchange? What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Andre Bishop. Carissi's known for really pushing Andre Bishop very hard during training camp. But right now, we're not seeing the results. He seems to be fading a bit. Yeah, you start to wonder whether or not Andre Bishop has gotten a little full of himself, you know, breaking the rules a little bit, maybe getting a little cocky. And maybe, you know, Gus sees him in the gym, but he doesn't see him 24-7. Maybe Andre not living the right way. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. Overheard the corner of Andre Bishop earlier saying to look for the uppercut. That time he found it, he saw it, he gave it. I need more than one punch. This fight is easy, so I need to see more than one punch. Over the hump, the back end of the fight now begins. A clean, crisp right hand by Hayes. Hayes is putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Targeting each other, the exchange was something special. Great work offensively landing that combination by Hayes. A huge uppercut by Hayes. Hayes is in bad shape. Where there's a spot that his opponent doesn't want to be in. You see him backing him up against the ropes. Takes one, but gets one. Good work by Andre Bishop. 
Andre Bishop unable to get out of the way of that big hook by Hayes. Up and cut! Able to cover up that gut. Punch combo by Andre Bishop. His opponent wanted the body. Hayes is stumbled back. He just got hurt. There it is. And for the second time tonight, he goes down. Feet. Let's see what he has now. Gets rid of that body shot. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. Look at that combination by Andre Bishop. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right now. I need you to move this round, all right? Now move. Now he's coming in. Start a new round, I pose this question to you. Is there any hope for him? He's look, been knocked down numerous times. Today. Look, there's been great comebacks in this sport. There's always hope. You don't know how deep a man's reserve is inside their soul, inside their mind. But dangerous grounds now to find out. A crushing two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. try to get up. Hayes is down, and he looks to be out. Now we're going to see what's inside this man. One, two, three, four, five. Andre Bishop gets Keyshawn Hayes a taste of his own medicine. The big hitter was hit hard, a knockout victory for Bishop. Kenny back here in our Friday Night Fight studios. We have an update on the career of rising star Andre Bishop. And while he certainly hasn't taken an easy road so far in his career, Bishop is poised to have his coming out party against top 15 middleweight contender Ricardo Alvarez, something virtually unheard of for a prospect with so few pro fights. What's more, the fight will take place in Alvarez's hometown of Chicago, although we can't expect a few fans to make the trip from Philly. What can I do for you, Mr. McQueen? Andre, I have to tell you something about your father. Before he died, he and I agreed to a deal. I was going to get him a title shot and let Gus stay on as his manager. Sadly, he never got a chance to tell Gus about it. I'll give you the same deal. Keep Gus as your trainer and manager. I'll promote your fights. Megan's young. She's got other fighters. And think about your brother. What about my brother? Raymond's got talent. Not your kind of talent, but <laughs> he's big. You see how big he is? He could be heavyweight champ someday. Isaac Frost looks unbeatable now, but who knows? Be smart, Andre. Let me take you and Raymond to the top. Look, Mr. McQueen, I don't appreciate you talking about my father or trying to get me to go behind Gus's back. Stay away from my brother and stay away from me. Are we clear? You have no idea who you're fucking with, kid. Oh, good luck with Alvarez. But I got a feeling it's not gonna be your night.
Ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, everybody. The Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the Aragon Ballroom here in Chicago, Illinois, for a much anticipated main event. Ricardo Alvarez is an established contender. Andre Bishop right, is a hot Protect rising prospect. Will Bishop Let's shine in the spotlight? Well, everything he's done throughout his career from the amateurs to this moment now have prepared him for this moment. How effective of a tool can the right hook be for a southpaw when he faces an orthodox fighter? Wow, what a dangerous punch for a southpaw. And the danger zone is really there for the orthodox fighter because he's not used to seeing that punch come from that angle. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Keep working the yard. Use the ring. Use the ring. Go. A well-placed, gutsy uppercut after being tagged. Back to the body. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there, and he's holding. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round, well-targeted two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Andre Bishop. Good flush, straight left hand. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. What an excellent two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. Keep moving! Gotta see these coming! That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the word by Andre Bishop. Basic boxing, and it works so well. Put your punches together. And that's the end of round one. Kid, the judges ain't even watching this fight. I can see it in their eyes. The queen fucked us. We're not winning any decisions tonight. Means you gotta knock this guy on the canvas. Understand? Knock him on his ass. Here we go. Round two is underway. Back to the body. Cover up, cover up! Good right hand. Right to the body. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Committing to the combo now, both land. Able to block that away, it was targeted for his head. Good clean shot, returning fire, well done by Andre Bishop. Blocks it away. Good combination to the head. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. That's exactly what he wanted to do, backing him up against the ropes. Good block by Andre Bishop. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punches. Well, the old timers used to say, when you're calm in there, when you're in control in there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. 
Carissi stresses to Andre Bishop to control every second of the three minutes of a round. He did so in that last round. Yeah, and the way he did it was by controlling range. He's very good at making sure he's the master of distance. Back underway here to live fight action. Tough fight to score. Very, very even, closely contested bout throughout. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. Wow, nice flush left hand. why so many feel Andre Bishop has such a bright future. Look at the countering ability against Ricardo Alvarez. Keep working the body. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Good, solid shots with the combo downstairs. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. I can imagine throughout your career, you've been all over a lot of fighters for lack of movement. Yeah, it's very, very frustrating because you start to wonder, does he want to win the fight? That's what you start to wonder. And now a well-placed hook to the head. Teddy, you think this is the moment where Gus Parisi gives him the green light and says, hey, you got him right where you want him. I mean, Bishop got to his opponent there. Not an experienced guy like Gus. He'll tell him, stay after him. You got him a little bit hurt. Keep pushing him downhill a little bit. But he'll tell him, do it the right way. Don't get careless. Nice work on the outside. Fit up. You need to cover up more, OK? You're leaving yourself open too much. Cover up. Start of a new round, and you got to expect his Good opponent job, to man. jump all over him. He nearly got rid of him at the end of the last round. Yeah, if I'm in the other corner, I'm telling him get after him. But you can use that in reverse. You know your opponent's coming after you. Maybe he gets a little reckless. You have an opportunity to nail him as he's coming after you. It seems to me that Bishop is right now uncomfortable with the pace that's being set in this fight. Well, he started the pace. See, that's the funny thing. Boom, left hand comes home. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. That was a big shot that floored him, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitch of great Maddox. The sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. Big shot. Yeah! Oh. 11 and 0. We were ready to make a move. My future looked bright. Nice place. The gym's closed, fellas. We didn't come here to work out. What's going on? We came to have a little talk. They were McQueen's thugs, but they were cops. Dirty cops on McQueen's payroll. 
Wrong fucking move, kid. Wrong fucking move. Good evening, everyone. I'm Brian Kenny, and welcome to Friday Night Fights here on ESPN. Before we get into tonight's action, some shocking news this week involving middleweight prospect and amateur gold medalist Andre Bishop. Reports are coming in that Bishop has been arrested for allegedly carrying an unlicensed firearm and assaulting two police officers. Details remain spotty, but the word is there was an altercation in the late hours of the evening between Bishop and the police at Carisi's Boxing Club, the gym where Bishop trains. The word of two decorated police officers was all it took. My dreams, my freedom, everything was taken from me. Everybody up! Cell block D, get up! Nobody could help me. I had to help myself. I couldn't let this place beat me. I did what I had to do. I fought. Those crackers been talking so much about kicking your ass, they think they can take you one-on-one. -on -one. I had to agree to some conditions, though. Bare knuckles. No refs, no rounds. You fight until somebody quits. Or can't get up. I like those conditions. And let's go get it on. Remember now, the professional boxing shit ain't gonna help you here. You got to knock this motherfucker out. Since I hear about you signing with D.L. McQueen. <laughs> no way, Adrian. Yo, Ms. McQueen told me Pop was gonna do the same thing. And you believe that? I believe this. <laughs> Yo, Mr. McQueen has done a lot for me. And Dre, I'm gonna be smart. I'm gonna let him keep doing what he's doing. Raymond, you'd be smart to stay away from McQueen, man. I always wanted you I to... ain't you, Dre. I'm me. I'm a heavyweight, Mr. McQueen. Mr. McQueen believes I can be the champ. The champ. I'm going for it, brother. I gotta do what's best for me. How's Gus taking him? I had to let Gus go. Raymond, no! I didn't have no choice, Dre. Gus can't give me a shot at the title. Mr. McQueen can. Dad realized that too late and I can't make that same mistake. I gotta do what's best for me and not what's best for Gus. Dre. Come on, man, you understand. Just like that. It's like that, Dre. It's like that.
Gus retired from boxing. Isaac Frost became heavyweight champion. Baby brother was fulfilling his dream. And here, it's the same old business. Time to skin another head. Motherfucker. This shit isn't finished. What the hell are you talking about? I'm ready to fight right now. Get your boy ready. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He just had a fight. He ain't had time to rest. I don't fucking care, Ace. He's gonna fight me right now, or there's gonna be serious problems. Okay? Fuck it. Let's go. I served my full sentence. I lost my youth. I lost my career. I lost my dream. Now what? Baby brother got me a job as an assistant trainer. Listen for the bell, man. Relax, Potter boy. Very lucky for an ex-con to have a job. That's what I like to see. A brother taking care of his brother. Andre, welcome back. Hey, Mr. McQueen. Raymond? Andre, you remember Mr. Franco. Andre. Mr. Franco has retired from the force. Works for me now. Must be a big change for you. Hope you learned to stay out of trouble. Now he's learned his lesson. Andre. <sighs> I'm sorry the way things worked out for you. But I've been taking good care of Raymond while you were away. We can't afford distractions. I hope we can count on you to help your brother.
was good just to be back in the gym. It was good to see baby brother doing his thing. And it was good to be back in the gym. Put your weight on your lead foot. Turn your hips more. It'll increase your power. There you go. Thanks for the advice. This gym's got a reputation. I can't have people looking in here seeing you slap boxing. <laughs> Jokes, huh? Nice. I was starting to think you didn't like me. Yeah, well, being on the outside takes some getting used to. I guess I'm still adjusting. I like you just fine, Megan. Always have. I never liked Mason Brooks. What the fuck was that, Brooks? We're supposed to be sparring. Oh, fuck you, has been. The shit wasn't low. Fuck you know about it anyway. You ain't even a fighter no more. Why don't you go clean some toilets or something? Whatever. Yeah, that's right, bitch. Go clean them toilets. <laughs> yeah, I left something in there for you, too. Yo, Brooks, chill out. Oh, what? You want to do something about it? Get out of the ring, right now. Dre, what, what you doing? Raymond, get out of the way.
I heard you beat up one of my heavyweights. Look, I'm sorry. All right, we, we were we were sparring. I didn't want to. Mason Brooks is an asshole. He needed that beat down. I like him better already. In that case, I'm happy to help Mason become a better person. Mason's a ranked heavyweight. You whipped a ranked heavyweight. You're still in great shape, Andre. I can get you work as a sparring partner. Are you serious? Antoine Barr's camp starts in two weeks. DL has agreed to a fight between you and Kobe Nichols. If we beat Nichols, we'll be in the top ten. What are the conditions? He says there aren't any. There's always conditions with DL. I'm sure we'll find out what they are. But we really need this fight. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City. This should be a very interesting one tonight. Ten-round heavyweight fight between eighth-ranked Kobe Nichols and the upstart, the comebacking Andre Bishop. Well, back in the 1900s, the early 1900s, the 1920s, the 1930s, all those great fighters, they used to move up in weight, from lightweight to middleweight to heavyweight, and they used to beat bigger guys. Why? They were faster, they were smarter. Bishop gets a chance to show that he's one of those guys. Nichols is coming down to the ring right now, not seeing much personality out of this ring wall. Start of round number one should be a very good fight here between the unbeaten Andre Bishop and the veteran heavyweight Kobe Nichols. Teddy with a power puncher. Keep it clean. That now. is hard to believe right there. It seemed to be a clean body shot, but yet the referee is deducting a point for a low blow against Andre Bishop. Watch your punches. Finish with the hook. Keep it clean, guys. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Nichols is doing well here with that two-punch combination. He comes with a straight right hand. And now he's targeting upstairs. Nice work on the right hand Watch by the Nichols. The trainer of Andre Bishop was talking about the fact that, hey, this is a different beast fighting in the heavyweight division. He wants him to block some of these big blows. 
Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. Precision work with the left hand by Nichols. He's committed to that jab, and he doesn't just throw one out there, but brings the second one immediately behind it. Last 10 seconds of this first round. End of round one. The shots were low, Gus. I know, kid, I know. But Queen's got this referee in his pocket. That's his condition for giving me this fight. I lose. No, ain't gonna happen. That's right, kid. You're gonna wear this guy out, okay? Keep moving. Keep that jab in his face. Counter upstairs when he opens up the punch. Do not go to the body. Upstairs, you got it? I got it. Stay upstairs. Forceful hook by Andre Bishop. Scored well with the left downstairs. You're doing great. Targeting that jab with the right hand behind Watch it. The low blow. Andre Bishop is really struggling here tonight, Beautiful. and you could point a finger to the referee was, and blame him. Amazing. Early on, like points that. were deducted for what appeared to be clean body shots that were termed low blows. Since then, Bishop will not go to the body. Instead, he's having limited success, right, if not any success at all, trying to go to headshots to Kobe Nichols. No body shots. You know what I mean? No more. You can't risk one, two, one, two, up top. Underway. Nichols is feeling the sting of that big uppercut. Very accurate with the overhand right. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. And he ties up on the inside. Pace yourself. I like the way he went up top that time with the hook. Come Nichols on, is able up. to land a good, solid left hand. 
So right from the start in this fight, he's committed to the body shots. Well, that's the time to go there, right at the beginning, because body work pays off for you later in the fight. No sense in wasting time. Us. Once again, the big story here tonight, points deducted from Andre Bishop by the referee for apparent clean body shots that were termed low blows. All right, breathe. Good. Deep breath. Deep breath. Get some water in you. You're good. You all right? You're okay, right? Breathe for me. Now listen, he threw a wide punch and he caught you. You're going to tighten up your punches, all right? And we are back underway, another round in a fight that's been very entertaining, but I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. Nichols is on the receiving end of a hook. Bishop's being very efficient right here. I mean, he's just picking his shots. His accuracy is through the roof. Well, that's one of the talents, and you hope is a talent, of a top fighter. There it is! He is down! Now, can he beat the count? Showing you what he is made of, getting up off the canvas after being knocked down. Wow! Well, we know he survived earlier, but now he goes down for a second time. some poor refereeing Andre Bishop straight away from the body shots still he was able to earn the knockout victory against Kobe Nichols Andre I know you don't want to fight your brother but I remind you this meeting was not my idea it was Raymond's I need this fight Dre the public has doubts about who deserves to fight for the title me or you you stole your brother's thunder, Andre. Man, I didn't steal anything. It's not about that. I've been Big Baby Bishop ever since you won the gold medal. I never had a chance to be anything else. Never even had a chance to be my own man. Sorry, Raymond. I, I didn't mean to... That's my brother. You owe me the chance to prove myself. Brian Kenny back here in our Friday Night Fight studios. Andre Bishop's latest win over top contender Kobe Nichols puts him squarely in the heavyweight title picture. After years of dominance by the champion Isaac Frost, we now have a situation where both Bishop brothers are considered legitimate challengers for the title. The surprising news from the offices of promoter D.L. McQueen this week is that the Bishop brothers have signed to fight each other, a heavyweight eliminator that's already being billed as sibling rivalry. The winner will earn the right to face Frost in what could be the biggest championship fight in decades. The MGM Grand here in Las Vegas, site to one of the most unique fights that we've ever brought you. Brother against brother, estranged and at odds, now against each other. As the older brother, Andre Bishop, takes on his heavyweight contending younger brother, Raymond Bishop, in an eliminator fight. For the winner, a chance for the world champion and a date with Isaac Frost. Teddy, sizes up for you. Well, Joe, it's not easy. Not only do you have to deal with blood, fighting your own blood, you have to deal with controlling your emotions, but you have to deal with the fact that both these fighters, both these brothers, know each other so well. They've sparred together. They've hung out together. They've been in the gym since they were kids. They know all the tendencies of each other. It's going to be like looking in the mirror. The only thing, this time you look in the mirror, you might not like what you're seeing. OK, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. Come on, I want 
This isn't their backyard. This isn't a pillow fight. This is brother versus brother for all the marbles. A chance to fight for the heavyweight championship of the world. Round number one underway. This is a different beast fighting in the heavyweight division. He wants him to block some of these big blows. Bishop's hitting the mark right now. How precise was he there with that three-punch combo? And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Good work, toe-to-toe -to -toe there. Both fighters got in on him. Raymond Bishop's right hand scores well that time. Is a sharp uppercut by Raymond Bishop. Raymond Bishop's left landing well. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Andre Bishop. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. Digs in with a left hand to the body. Firing off the uppercuts. Great exchange. And this round comes to an end. What's going on, kid? You look like crap out there. I mean, let's pick it up, okay? He might be your little brother. He's got a big punch. And he's gonna put you on your ass if you're not careful. So let's get it together. Now! I've been Big Baby Bishop ever since you won the gold medal. I never had a chance to be anything else. Never even had a chance to be my own man. Here we go. Round two is underway. Knock you out, big brother. <laughs> Brian Kenny back here on Friday Night Fights. A shocking turn of events in the battle between the Bishop brothers this past weekend as Raymond knocks out his older brother, Andre. Andre was unable to beat the count after a big right hand from Big Baby in the second round. The stage is now set for a heavyweight showdown between Raymond Bishop and the champion, Isaac Frost. We are glad to be here with you. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. Tonight, Isaac Frost puts the belt up against Raymond Bishop. Of course, Frost, one of the most intimidating forces in the sport, a pure power puncher, Teddy, if there ever was one. Yeah, Bishop's going to have to go back and look at some of those alley listen tapes. You know, Frost is kind of like a listen, very intimidating, very strong. Bishop's gonna have to do the same thing Ali did in beating Liston. Not be intimidated by him, go out there, show him who the boss is, but at the same time, stay away, be smart. Isaac Frost's ring walks have been known as circus spectaculars, but yet, with all that, to him, it's a moment of extreme attention. Thank you. 
Tempest. Hailing out of Philadelphia, Raymond Big, Baby Bishop. And now, fighting out of the red corner, the Ray, defending heavyweight champion of the world, Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. Will Raymond Bishop be able to pull this off? The heavyweight championship of the world is Isaac Frost. Round one is underway. Here, the paramedics man, are up. rushing into the ring. Come on, Ray, get up, man. Please, sir. Please, sir. Bishop is absolutely motionless. Give us some room, people. We need to work. Isaac, do you feel bad about what happened tonight? Do I feel bad? <laughs> no, <laughs> that's not how this works. This is called boxing. Can you, let me do this. Listen, I'm not gonna cry. Every time some clown gets hurt, right? Raymond Bishop knew the risks when he stepped into the ring with me. Maybe if he ever wakes up, I'll knock some sense into his stupid ass. Tell Dio he could have whatever he wants. Get me in the ring with Frost. I know emotions are running high right now, but in the heat of battle, people say things, uh, ugly things. That's all for now. Please. Tell Andre Bishop he doesn't have anything I want. Everybody wants this fight to happen. I don't. Candace, uh, could you send Franco to escort my daughter out? Good night, Megan. Good night, DL. Good night, Ms. McQueen. Franco, my father's letting you go down for setting up Andre Bishop. I don't know what you're talking about. You will. I'll show myself out. If I'm going down for the Bishop job, you're going with me. You gave the order. What the hell are you talking about? Your daughter just told me. That I'm going down for setting up Bishop? How does she even know about that? Um, down. She doesn't know anything. Don't fuck with me, McQueen. Nobody can prove anything. It's your word against the next con. We're fine. I still don't like her sniffing around. Excuse me. I forgot my phone. If I'm going down for the Bishop job, you're going with me. I believe Andre Bishop has something you want. Megan, you can't do this. Megan! Megan! I have to admit, 
I did not want this fight to happen. Even though both fighters wanted it. Even though the public wanted it. And even though I would have made a ridiculous amount from it, I did not want this fight to happen because I did not want to risk two tragedies happening to the same family. Now we know Raymond Bishop, a fine boxer, a fine young man, is going to recover fully from his injuries. I am proud to announce T.L. McQueen Promotions is bringing you the fight the challenger has been demanding. The fight the champion has been demanding. The fight you have been demanding. Isaac Frost versus Andre Bishop for the heavyweight championship of the world. May the best man win. Nevada for this heavyweight championship fight. Tonight, from the NGM Grand on the Vegas Strip, heavyweight champion Isaac Frost looks to defend his belt against Andre Bishop. Of course, Andre Bishop, once a middleweight prospect, the much smaller man now as a comebacking heavyweight, but he is full of revenge, looking to avenge his brother Raymond's loss to Isaac Frost. Teddy, emotions running high. Emotions that must be controlled. You know, you want to get after somebody, you think about boxing, you think about maybe getting angry, going and hitting what you're angry at. You get angry in this business, you get hit more. So it's going to be the job of Bishop and his people to make sure they control those emotions all night long. Isaac Frost got a target on his opponent from the moment he steps out of that locker room to every step he takes during this ring walk, you can see exactly what's in his scope. This is good. Any questions from the challenger? Any questions from the champion? Yeah, I got one. How's little Raymond doing? So okay, okay, okay. Break it up. I want to see a nice, clean fight. Touch up. This guy is a freaking animal. Don't even try to win the first couple of rounds. Just survive. Let him tire himself out. Yeah, I got it. I mean it, kid. This guy's a friggin' animal. You seen what he done to Raymond? Use your feet. Keep your hands up. Stick around for a couple of rounds and he'll get frustrated. I guarantee you. I got it, Gus. the brew beating laid down on his brother Raymond from Isaac Frost. They are wondering, can Andre even survive together with Isaac Frost? Oh, that uppercut got battling. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. So this situation is kind of like a wounded animal. Yeah, you can go after, but you better be careful because you're going to strike out when you don't expect it. Cross turning He got caught by that right hand. He never saw it coming. He may be looking to clinch here. Reach the halfway mark of this round. And as is his MO, Isaac Frost pressing the action with no time. Getting right at her on Chief Bishop. Don't slow down. Staying away. 
away from those headshots with his defense up top. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Keep it up. Keep on. Each man able to land an uppercut. The trainer of Andre Bishop was talking about the fact, hey, this is a different beast fighting in the weight division. He wants him to pick some of big blows. Last 10 skins of this first round. Wow, nice flush left hand. Well, once again, that wasn't a fantastic round by Andre Bishop, but I will say this, Teddy. He's hanging in this fight. Isaac Frost is yet to get off good and clean against him. No, Bishop is doing what he needs to do. You know, he's going to believe he's Claude Rains, the original Invisible Man. He is not wanting to be seen here tonight. Not seen by Frost. Just like that, Isaac. Just like that. This kid Bishop, he felt this kind of power. You got that? He doesn't know how to handle your shots. Keep unloading all night. Just, just keep doing what you're doing. things to change here in round number two he needs them to change because isaac frost was gaining downhill momentum with his offensive attack bishop is stunned he just took a huge punch and now he has to grab he has to get in close and make sure that he kills some time good power punch the right hand landed That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. Andre Bishop just passed a very tough test. No doubt about it that he was hurt. Now there's no doubt that he will fight on. He's committing to the work. Oh, he just ate a big uppercut right there. He had no idea it was coming his way. He does not look good at all. I want you to go downstairs and give him some power shots now. I want you to chop that wood for three rounds. Got it? Knock the air out of his lungs. Three rounds. Power shots. Pound that body. You got it? I got it. Pound that body. Good man. Punching by Isaac Frost there. The big man can put his punches together. Crashes home with a hook. Oh, and he digs in with a body shot. Does Andre Bishop against Isaac Frost. Keep your hands up. The trainer of Andre Bishop was talking about the fact that, hey, this is a different beast fighting in the heavyweight division. He wants him to block some of these big blows. Gives 
one. The right hand scores well. Bishop's jab can do so much there. He used it well that time. Nice block by Andre Bishop. The body shots, champ. Oh, that's a big hook right there. Wow, a big flush blow. The left hand by Andre Bishop. This fight it threatens this fight right now for Andre Bishop as he's back in the corner. Now the easy thing to do is blame the corner, the cut man, for not stopping that. But a little blame has to go to the fighter. It's his responsibility to give that medicine, the coagulants, a chance to work. He went out there and he got hit right on the spot nice. again. Nice. Deep breaths now. That's it. Now keep it up just like that. All right. I mean this this guy ain't seen nothing like you before. You got that? Now, don't waste your shots on nothing, okay? If it ain't there. Here we go with the fourth round. A clearly refreshed heavyweight champion, Isaac Frost. He's ready to go here in this round. Isaac Frost got something to think about now. He just threw a punch and had one coming right back at him. His opponent scored well with the counter. Double hooks to the body by Andre Bishop. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then land the counter. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. Good exchange, he fires back. Scored well with the left downstairs. Isaac Frost impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Wow, a big punch just crashes home on Andre Bishop. The only good thing is he's been here before. With all that amateur experience, he has been hurt before. He knows how to behave. whether or not he's going to panic here or whether or not he's going to grab on the way he should. Well, this is like a microcosm of his life. He's been down outside the ring before he's gotten up to. And that will serve him because he has survived very difficult things outside the ring, and he is thinking of that right now, believe me. Nice work, Isaac. You know, Isaac Frost still has the look of a guy who's controlling this fight, but what we're seeing out of Andre Bishop right now is he's having some success going to the body. Well, there's a reason for it. It's not by accident. You know, he understands that Frost is a bigger, stronger guy, so he wants to make him a little weaker. Take some of that strength away from him. Go downstairs. Deflate him a little bit. Oh, and another body shot by Andre Bishop. Teddy, there are opportunities 
that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Isaac Cross nailed by a hook. Boom, left hand comes home. Wow! Andre Bishop is floored. This is not the first time that he's been on the campus, so he will not panic. So Bishop gets up and beats the count, but now comes the critical time. Now he has to do two things. One, he has to survive, kill a little bit of time, and understand why he got put down in the first place so he don't make the same mistake. It started in round four, and here in round number six. Oh, and what an unfortunate circumstance for Andre Bishop. There is blood now coming from above his eye. His corner men are going to need to get all over that. Oh, he gets hit by a left hand that he had. Wow. This is where an aggressive and probably not going to think about grabbing, and he should. Come on, get to your feet. Two, three, four, get up. Bishop's in a tough spot right now. Yes, he got up, but he looks like he is on a shaky foundation. And this is where you hope that his trainer worked on these things in the gym. Just like in football, the two-minute warning. You know, when it goes crazy, what do you do? Good flush shot upstairs. Bishop's not showing that he's got a great IQ when it comes to ring generalship here. He's just stationary, not much movement at all. No, not at all. He's feeding right into his opponent. He knows where to find them and where to find them at all times. He needs to get on those legs a little bit and start changing a little bit of... How about that, guys? No, it ain't pretty. But we can handle it. You gotta give us some time, Dre. Protect that eye. Don't let Frost touch it or the ref will stop this fight for sure. No way. Mm. Give us a couple of rounds. We'll get it under control. Don't let him mess it up. I got you. Bishop was talking about the fact that, hey, this is a different beast fighting in the heavyweight division. He wants him to block some of these big blows. Carissi's known for really pushing Andre Bishop very hard during training camp. But right now, we're not seeing the results. He seems to be fading a bit. Yeah, you start to wonder whether or not Andre Bishop has gotten a little full of himself, you know, breaking the rules a little bit, maybe getting a little cocky. And maybe, you know, Gus sees him in the gym, but he doesn't see him 24 7. Maybe Andre not living the right way. Bishop doing a good job, though, of protecting you. 
Teddy, the last thing you want to show a shark is blood in the water. Well, Andre Bishop has blood over his eye, and the shark is the heavyweight champion of the world. It could work both ways, though, Joe, and that's what Bishop is hoping for. It could get your opponent to get over anxious. Look to zero in on that. You know, X marks the spot. Looking to land a big shot. And then Bishop, being a smaller guy, he can take advantage of that overaggression. He can outbox him, outsmart him. He's aiming for that cut, son. So the second half of this fight has now arrived. hand to the body. A good solid uppercut from Isaac Frost, wasn't it? Well timed by Andre Bishop. He took a step back, landed the counter. Punch. Exactly what he wanted to do. He gets rid of that body shot. punch downstairs that can be damaging see him trying to cut down that tree with a well-placed right hand Frost showing us a real real solid skill set here with his head movement Teddy how much of that is just natural athletic ability and instincts and how much of that is being trained well well most of us trained well if I take a guy off the street Joe and he hasn't been taught anything he's gonna throw punches but usually he's not gonna have a good defense that's something that has to be attained that's something that has to be taught this guy has been taught good defensive fundamentals This is where his opponent could use a construction hard hat. If Isaac Frost is throwing a right hand like that, it could be lights out. See, Andre Bishop, that training really paid off. Just back to basics. Just a one, two, boom, boom. And that does it. Quit playing around with him and put that bastard away. Okay, nice work out there, kid. Looking good. Bleeding's under control. You know, that could have helped us out a little bit. I mean, he's even more tired now. He spent a lot of energy trying to take you out. Yeah? Still seems like he's got a bit left. Yeah? Well, you got more. You got more energy. You got more power. And you got more heart. God, you got more heart than any other fighter I've ever known. Now, we turn it up. You take the fight to that fucker and he won't know what hit him. This is your fight now, Andre. Take it to him. That's all you had to say, guys. Hey! Quit playing around with him and put that bastard away. Okay, nice work out there, kid. Looking good. Bleeding's under control. You know that could have helped us out a little bit. I mean, he's even more tired now. He spent a lot of energy trying to take you out. Yeah. Still seems like he's got a bit left. Yeah? Well, you got more. You got more energy. You got more power. And you got more heart. God, you got more heart than any other fighter I've ever known. Now, you turn it up. You take the fight to that fucker and he won't know what hit him. This is your fight now, Andre. Take it to him. That's all you had to say, guys. Back to live action now in what has been a closely contested fight. One of those fights that somebody is still waiting to break through and be a difference maker in. Best combination in the game, jab with the straight. What a bold 
dozing uppercut by Andre Bishop. Finish him off! Bishop lands another combination. Teddy Frost looks tired. Frost has never been in this situation before. You know, he's always been the intimidator. What happens the first time that a guy stands up to you? The intimidator becomes the intimidated. What an excellent two-punch combo. Now, this is a version of Isaac Frost we're not used to seeing. A damaged... And Frost goes down. Frost has never been down. The heavyweight champion of the world is on the canvas. Can he beat the count? Frost trying to get up. He goes down again. It's all over. It's all over. There's a new heavyweight champion of the world. And his name is Andre Bishop. Yeah. Hey up, bitches. I knew you could do it, Andre. I'm proud of you. I hope we can work together now. Oh, I'd love to, Mr. McKay. But you might have some problems running things from the pen. Huh? We had a deal. You gave me your word. She didn't give you my word. You had no idea who you were fucking with. Deal! You better get me out of this! Hey! You better... Yeah! Yeah! yeah.